And here we are at Bristol Motor Speedway Dirt. The first ever Bristol Motor Speedway Dirt Night Race. Second to everyone here. It's time for the running of the Wrangler 100. Brett Baker on the pole. Spencer Hoffman. Here we go. Let's go. Night racing at Bristol Dirt. Oh, we got contact. And around goes the 24. Caution's out. Caution is out. So Brett Baker back tonight. Three career wins, two in season three at uh, Charlotte and uh, Homestead, and la one win last season at Richmond. And he's back tonight. And you know one thing about Don Walker was let's go down to our pit road reporter. Yeah, guys, earlier today, Dylan Walker was not feeling the greatest, was really skeptical on whether or not if he was going to be racing tonight. As we got cars down pit road, we'll not be going green this time, Bob, but Walker, you know, just really feeling a lot more better in this race car or not. Some interesting stuff there. Walker back in the uh, back in the race car tonight after a one-race suspension at Auto Club. And now going to be in second place. Looks like three cars down pit road. Yeah, it's so I mean I couldn't do anything. I was already on the wall. What happened to Noah? That's what you do. It's like Noah Olson pitted there. He'll be out. So now we are gonna choose our lanes here. I'm gonna go with the outside lane here. It's like Brett's gonna go the outside too. That's gonna to put Walker the fourth in on this restart and Hoffman the second. As we go to the Geico restart zone, green flag back in the air. And here comes Brett Baker to the outside right there. Oh, three's loose back straight away. So is the nine. Oh, we got a crash. Caution waves. Three cars around. It's the nine. And uh, caution. Three cars around. The three. The forty-eight. Oh, oh, what the the nine's on top of the twenty-four and spot. What happened? No, pit road apparently. I thought you left the race. No. I thought you said bye. No. I said I'm down pit road to And Bet, what are you doing? So we got some pit stops here happening at Bristol Dirt. Under the yellow flag. After, like I said, three car incidents. Noah involving Dylan Walker, Simon Boggs, and Noah Wilson. Boggs is going to win the race off pit road. It looks like... Brett Baker is going to go down the pit lane here. You know one thing about Brett Baker on a tear at these dirt tracks. Winning a lot of league racing at Bristol Dirt lately. Last year, Blaze Smithberger won the race here at Bristol Dirt. And it looks like Simon Boggs is going to be the race leader here. Okay, I'm taking inside. Um, I don't know if we're going to go back green yet, though. Okay, we're going green this time. All right, through the Geico restart zone. Here we go. And up to the gears they go. Oh, we got trouble. The nine. Oh, the nine. Contact. Oh. Sorry. Oh, and around goes the 48. Caution waves. I'm, so it's going to be 24, 9, 3, and 18. 24, 9, 3, 18, 48. My bad there, Hoffman. I got loose on the exit of 4 or exit of 2. Yeah. I'm going to be in the red. 
endings. And by the way, if we keep on having Rex, we might just go to single file restarts. Like they did at Real Life Bristol Bear a few years ago. So if we keep on wrecking, we're going to go single file restarts. Not going green, not going green. Can I get, can I get my lot back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what a crazy season for Noah Wilson, your current race leader. You know, um, a lot of DNFs this season. DNF in the 500, DNF in Richmond, Miss Sonoma. And I believe he missed Phoenix and got last and wrecked in the final lap in the last race in Auto Club. We have Martinsville coming up. We have Talladega coming up. Nah, nah. I need five. Okay, I guess we're going green. No, we're not. Oh. No, we weren't going green. How do you get my lap back? And caution's out. That restart will not count. That restart will not count. 24 is the leader. The 24 and second. Or I said 24 twice. 24 is the leader. Nine second. Three is third. Brett Baker fourth. Brett Baker's about to go lap down. Well, I got wrecked right at the edge of the entrance of pit road when I was backing up. I got stuck down pit road and I got damaged. Looks like the nine's gonna pit this time. So that's gonna put the three to second then. And the 48 and mm, the third. Yeah, look. Man, look at this. On the onboard, you can see there the bounciness on this Pfizer cam. Just really crazy here at Bristol Dirt, you know? Really bumpy racetrack, and you now with all that rain we got here last night, early this morning, it was very muddy track, and they did a really good job, you know, trying to pack down the track um, for today's race here at Bristol Dirt. Man, this is going to be a long, ca this is a long caution period here. <laughs> <laughs> the 24 doesn't know why he's saying fuel, but he has pretty, pretty much fuel to make it. I, okay, looks like everyone's gonna be good here on this restart. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna, have the, I'm gonna have to have the inside, so I have to go in front of you nine. Oh, Brett Baker wrecks some cars. Thank you, Brett. Come on, guys. Do you not know how to fucking drive? Uh, you're the one that wrecked people, dumbass. No, Dylan, you're the one that just spun down the inside. What? Not going green, not going green. No, we're not. I'm in front of the nine, so I'm supposed to be in front of him, not behind him. Or all right, so this will be the official restart. Up to the gears they go, green flag. Big run by Boggs there, and oh, contact between the nine and the forty-eight. Keep in mind the three and the 48 are on a five race probation. Oh, the 48 just put the three in the wall. Now the three comes, I don't know if the three's trying to race in dirty. And car around, caution waves. Actually, I think we had two cars around. I think the 18 went around. Caution waves. I didn't wreck you there, Hoffman. At least on purpose. If you need to pit, it's been a town pit. 
Clear road's gonna be open. Up and be smart, be smart. Looks like a lot of guys are gonna go down pit road here. Oh, 24 stays out. What a what a move by Boggs there. Who won? He already has a win this year. And let's and looks like the three is gonna take a splash of fuel here and just two tires and he's gonna fix that damage. Yeah, I mean, changing tires won't last. 1,000 laps. <laughs> yeah. And the nine's going to be out the three here on this restart, or on this exit of pit lane, excuse me. Am I lap down? No, I'm not. Going green next time by, going green next time by. <laughs> so they're gonna get the one to go signal here, and then we'll go back green lap 20. With 13 to go, this is kind of a quick pace race. We'll have these cautions. <laughs> Off into the inside, and you know, we got two guys in this field that have not won a race this season. Brett, or, Noah Wilson, bad season, season one champion, inaugural champion in MLRA, and you got Brett Baker on the outside there in fourth place. He is trying to get the win this season. Hoffman trying to get a second. Here they come though, to the green flag. Green flag back out in Bristol. Noah Wilson the second. Brett Baker's gonna use that outside lane. Noah Wilson very loose down the back straightaway. Here they come, Spencer Hoffman going to go to the inside, Brett Baker goes to the outside. Dylan Walker catching the number 48 and the 48 very slow. Oh, oh, 18's in the wall and the 9 in the wall. Caution's out, round we go, caution. Round goes the 9 actually. That is going to be the caution flag here as the 9 went around. Looks like the 18 got on the wall, came down. The nine was there and the nine wrecked. Who is it? Oh yeah, Brett is a good challenger. Man, don't assign bugs is not like M and M's apparently. Oh. Oh, he says he likes M&M's, but he does not like the M&M's car right now. Ten to go, though, under these yellow flag conditions here at Bristol Motor Speedway Dirt. And, and I think Noah Wilson might have blown it up, might have backed out. No, are you out of the race? Oh, the, I apparently got a penalty. Um, we're not going green. We're going to allow him to get this lap back. We're not going green, not going green. Yeah, we're going to have to give, we're going to let him get his lap back. There we go, going to get, the nine's going to get his lap back. And now we're going to get the one to go signal to go back green. Crazy thing, I went to this race back in April. Yeah I, did. yeah, I did predict uh, Christopher Bell to win the Bristol Dirt Race this year, and I got it right. <laughs> kind of just a fact. Not really, I wasn't that shocked he won. But green flag, though. Boggs got a big jump, but I think he was in that line. He was. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes, battle right here. Three got contact! The 18 puts a 24 up track. What a move.
And here we go. Oh, oh! Contact between the 9 and the 48. 48 drops back. And oh, we got trouble! And we got a car out up in the wall hard. Caution waves. Caution waves for what? The seventh time today's race. Caution waves. Dylan Walker hard in the outside wall. Brett Baker. Oh, we got time limit. Time limit. It's time. Go. We're going green this time. Green flag. Back in the air. Simon Boggs gets it there. And we're just racing this thing out. One car around. Noah Wilson. No more cautions left in this race due to the time on it. Nine's going to DNF. Boggs. Two to go. Or three to go. Will they make it back? And time to end this race. Boggs. Two to go now. Boggs looking for that second win of the season. What will Spencer often do? He has enough. Oh, and around they go! Round goes to 48. Saves it. Baker, though, coming. White flag waves. We're going to make it here. We're going to make it here, boys. Can Boggs have enough here to hold it on? Baker, really good on the dirt. Baker has one last shot at it. But no! Simon Boggs is going to tame the dirt. He slings it at Bristol. Boggs, second win of the year. What a race. What a win. Down here in victory lane for the second time this season. Simon Boggs out of the car. Victorious here. His first ever dirt win, seventh career win, puts him third on the all-time woods win list here. Simon, how's it feel to get the win tonight in Bristol? Oh, it feels great. Uh, just good battle with Brad. Brad's a real good dirt racer. Uh, he, he's very good, and I'm not the greatest on dirt, but I'm. you can probably put me one of the tops in the dirt because I'm okay on dirt, and I know how to sling the car around on dirt. Um, saying win this season. It's awesome to, awesome to go, keep going, and trying to punch my ticket in the history books this season for a champion. I'm starting out strong again this year. So um, next race we go to Martinsville, a track that you want. Do you think you could get your third one the season and go back-to-back -back at Martinsville? I would I would like to, but you never know. Next-gen cars, I might could outdo me. That was in the Gen 6, and I was very strong in the Gen 6 there, but new car new generation and this is this is the new time and never knows it's gonna happen all right Simon so the 18 was not very happy with you after that race um, what do you have to take away from that uh, he, he was in the restart zone for me I just I went in fifth gear just hoping I wouldn't spin the tires and he says that he wasn't and on my screen he was I mean there's not that's just a racing that's just racing one just kind of like today in the real X Fendi series. One went, one didn't. So. All righty then, Simon Boggs, your winner here at Bristol Motor Speedway Dirt. How was you? Um, we're down here with Dylan walking on pit road. Car beat up, bang. Bristol is dirty. How do you feel about today? Uh, overall, I mean, we had a car that didn't really handle well I kind of felt loose all day long and didn't really get a good run didn't really have a good short run or long run all day long this car just drove like dog do do all day long and you know luckily we go to a um, real race track next week and Martinsville a track that we can actually win at I think uh, we're probably are gonna win with that race there um, on Martinsville but you know that race um, I, I hate this dirt racing and this league racing it, it sucks um, just to race here it, I mean it's so undrivable I can't even drive in this stuff, so um, just sucked for us. Fourth place, and hopefully um, we can rebound in Martinsville and get that win. So, talking about Martinsville, we heard 
statements from Soundbox saying new generation mean how you feel how you gonna do with the bigger brakes and the fifth gears and shifting at Martinsville hopefully it's uh, pretty well and you know I really want to win at Martinsville it's probably one of my most favorite racetracks to race at you know last time we got a big fight there we got second there last time so I don't understand why uh, we can't win that race we're down here with Dylan Walker no further questions for you and we'll take it up to the booth All right.